Kicking up all North Texas in high definition. This is Good Day on Fox 4. Some of us will get lucky and get rain today, and there's more good news in Evan's forecast. Several people accused in a high-profile string of bank robberies go on trial today. We'll have the latest. Plus, a police officer who was stuck in Colorado recovering from an injury gets help to come home. Good morning. It's Monday, July 27th. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Rush. A man was arrested after a shooting at a nightclub in northwest Dallas. Police say three men were fighting when one of them pulled out a gun. The other two men were shot as they tried running back to the club. Officers chased down the gunman. The storms that rumbled across our area last night sparked some fires. Lightning is to blame for one fire in North Richland Hills. Several apartment homes were damaged at a complex near Loop 820 and Roof Snow. Some residents were evacuated, but no injuries were reported. President Obama continues fighting for health care reform. He'll be making stops in North Carolina and Virginia this week, while lawmakers try to make progress before an August recess. The Obama administration is playing down a report from the Congressional Budget Office this weekend. The report claims the president's proposed medical care, Medicare Advisory Council may not save as much money as expected. It turns out that the Congressional Budget Office, in scoring these different proposals, has um, scored very little savings and huge costs uh, so that we'll have a deficit under either the House bill or the Senate bill anywhere from $240 billion to $600 billion. Right now, almost 50 million Americans do not have health insurance. Former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin says she's looking ahead after her last day in office. She invited friends and supporters to a picnic Sunday. She's leaving office with a year still left in her first term. Palin was vague on her plans for the future, but clear in her criticism of liberals and the news media. Democracy depends on you. And that is why, that's why our troops are willing to die for you. So, how about, in honor of the American soldier, you quit making things up. And one other thing for the media, our new governor has a very nice family, too. So leave his kids alone. There's speculation that Palin will try to launch a political talk show or go on the paid lecture circuit. She says a series of ethics complaints against her led to a half-million-dollar personal legal bill. The man accused of killing a Kansas abortion doctor returns to court this week. Police say anti-abortion activist Scott Rodare fired as the doctor was handing out bulletins at his church in Wichita. Rodare is charged with murder. If convicted, he faces life in prison. Eight people are dead after a car crash in New York. Police say a minivan going in the wrong direction on a highway ran into two cars. Of the eight dead, four were children. There's no word yet on why the minivan was going the wrong way. Police are investigating. Several homes were damaged in a major storm in Maryland. Heavy rain, hail, and high winds knocked out power to 30,000 homes. Trees were uprooted and some fell on cars. No injuries have been reported. The Space Shuttle Endeavor astronauts have one final spacewalk today. They'll work on the power system at the International Space Station. This will be their fifth walk. The air got kind of stale at the space station over the weekend. An air purifying system stopped working, and with 13 astronauts at the station, that was a problem. NASA found a temporary fix to the problem. Another big soccer Sunday at Cowboy Stadium. We'll take a look. The Texas Rangers try to gain ground in the American League West. Highlights are ahead. And we'll have your work week forecast coming up next.